Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey Ainsworth. I've been a school bus driver for just over a year and a half. And one of the questions I've been getting a lot since I started bus driving is how much do I make? Am I able to support my family off of bus driver income? So today we are talking numbers. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know what today is. So I'd like to start out by saying that not every district, not every county pays their bus drivers like my county does. But this video is just an example so that if you're thinking about getting into bus driving, because I know that when some of you guys comment on my videos and say, how much do you make? Are you able to support your families? That's in the sense of like, you guys are considering going out and becoming a bus driver for yourselves. And I don't want to lead you in the wrong direction. So instead of typing out all of this information, I decided just to make a whole video of it so I can explain everything. If you guys watch the intro, you probably already saw that I actually take my kids with me on the school bus, and that is the biggest reason why I chose this job. I homeschool our oldest son. The two younger ones aren't in school yet, so it works out. We just take them on the school bus. We have this break in the middle. That's where homeschool, lunch comes in, and some video gaming, and then we get back on the bus. It's been working out pretty well for us so far until the winter came, and ruined everything. At the beginning of the school year, I signed a contract stating that I was going to make $19,111 over the course of 12 months. So each payment would be $1,592.64. That is our base pay. So for our county, like I said, not every county is going to do this, but for our county, they want to pay us all 12 months because school is only like 10 months I want to say so instead of them being like okay we're gonna pay you exactly what you made for each week and uh, that's gonna be it we also get paid monthly other bus drivers do get paid bi-weekly I have seen this because I started a TikTok. I did some story time videos on there and some bus drivers were like oh I get paid bi-weekly I was like that's very interesting I get paid monthly the last day of the month that is a weekday is typically the day that we get paid unless it is November or December because they pay us a little early for the holidays. So instead of the county saying, oh, we're going to pay this employee for 10 months and then over the summer they're not going to get anything, they withhold like 24 or 25 hours from each of our paychecks. Like so each month they take out like 24 hours of it or 25, one of the two, and then they put that towards paying us for the summer so that they can pay us the same sum all year round. We don't actually get paid on holidays. What they do is every day of school, that is for this year. I think it's 181 days of school or something like that. If you're four hour contracted, it's gonna be lower. What I am right now is five hour contracted. They add in five hours for each of those 181 days and then they divide it by 12 and then you've got your contracted number and that's how they do it. So the days that you're not in school, you're not actually getting paid for them. You're just getting paid every month the same amount regardless of what happens. So if there is a snow day, you're still getting paid that amount of money. So this is the lowest case scenario. This is if you don't have any overtime. When I first started, I didn't even have an elementary. So it was just high school and middle school for me and I was clocking in like three hours a day. It was like one and a half hours between my high school and middle and then I would just be done. And then my second week, I started getting called to pick up all these elementaries and I started clocking around five hours because I was doing like double elementaries. So I was picking up one group of kids, taking them to their house, going back to the school, picking up another group of kids, and then taking them all to their house as well because not a lot of people wanted to drive out of that school at the time. Last year I was four hour contracted and I ended up getting five hour contracted last year at some point. So instead of making around 1200 a month, I went up to making 1500 I went up to making a little bit more. Uh, last year what I was making was actually 1815 and this year they bumped up our amount to $21 an hour. But yeah, so basically this year I am on average doing, because I have a midday this year, which middays are very interesting. I didn't actually know they existed back when I was in high school, but there are bus drivers who will take kids to like governor school or a career in tech center. If your school has like a tech center where kids go and learn a trade, there are school buses that will take you from your school to the trade center and from the trade center back to your school. Those routes are not a morning route or an afternoon route. They're called a midday because they're in between the morning route and the PM route. So I have a midday this year and I take kids who are studying to be teachers over to their high schools that they go to. So there's two high schools and I drop one group off and then I drop another group off and then I get back to the school park and then I go home. Because of that midday, 
I get an extra like hour and a half ish on the days that kids ride. So every other day for me. So on one day, I'm clocking around six hours and 20 minutes ish. And then on the other day, I'm clocking around seven hours and 10 minutes ish. So that really bumps up my amount a lot. And when it comes time for me to get paid, I'm getting around $2,000 ish a month. But then you have to factor in the fact that taxes come out and benefits come out and all that stuff. So this most recent paycheck that I got was like $1,777 or something like that. And I am going to just really quick give you guys a rundown of like how much I was making at certain points. So like in the beginning, when I was just four hour contracted making like my first check, no overtime hours whatsoever. If you're four hour contracted and you're working three hours a day, you're still getting paid for four hours. You're just not getting any overtime. So this is what my check looked like when I first, first started and I had like no overtime whatsoever. Then when I got five hour contracted, this is what my check looked like on average and when I was getting a little bit of overtime hours. And then this year, my first midday was when I was covering for a bus driver who was out. Her midday is one of the longest middays. So I was doing her midday for a while and that was the biggest my checks have been. And this is when I was covering her midday for almost a solid month. So everyone who was doing middays, they like moved up and then I got like the shortest midday, I guess. So now that I'm doing this midday and this is my consistent midday, this is what my paycheck is looking like. And I also have my own elementary this year as well. So, um, I hope that answers your questions. Bus driving is more of like a supplemental income. I definitely wouldn't be able to support myself if I didn't have other modes of income, other cookie jars, I guess uh, you could say. And I use that reference because my dad always told me when I was younger that you should always have like different cookie jars or different legs on your chair so that if one of them falls, you still have the other ones to hold you up. And so I've always been like, oh, I want to be like a renaissance woman where I can fix this and I can do that and I can do a couple things. And so right now I have photography that I do and I have my small business, which is selling hair growth serums and skincare products. If you don't know about that, it is mysticularlifestyle.com or mysticular27.com and you can use the code mystic5 for $5 off your first order. I also fix DSs and sell them, make custom DSs and sell them on eBay and sometimes I'll like buy things retail and resell them. If you've been on my YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that I use Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, eBay, all of that regularly. The biggest reason why I started school bus driving was because I wanted like a consistent income. After COVID happened, like things were not consistent with like small business. No one was really buying off of Facebook Marketplace and eBay and, and Etsy and stuff because people were afraid of getting anybody's germs and stuff like that. And so when that started tanking, I was like, okay, I need like a consistent income and I wanted bus driving because that was where I could take the kids with me. And when I first started, that was the only reason. I just wanted consistent income and the fact that I could take my kids with me was appealing. And now I actually really like the job and I really love my kids. And I literally went from having three kids to like over a hundred kids in a couple days and it was wild, but it's nice. And it can be a stressful job. The worst part about it for me right now is the fact that it's so cold. It's 25 degrees. My family's from Jamaica. We do not do well in the cold. We just don't. So I'm over there teeth chattering while, you know, some people are coming on the bus with no jacket on and I'm like, I need some of that because mm, I'm like, <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I answered some of your guys' questions and feel free to check out my small business. I'll leave it in the link below. Also, I'm going to be doing a series of like bus driver vlogs where you guys can follow us every day while we're on the school bus. We're going to be doing vlogs daily and I'm not sure how I'm going to post those, if it's going to be weekly, daily, monthly, or whatever yet. But if you're interested in videos of my kids and I on the school bus, what it's like, just uh, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well and tap that notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon. More videos coming so please stay tuned.